Hey folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Deck. Hopefully we're not going to get any motor boating as I call it. It's a little pat 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 sound. But occasionally OBS will throw on top. Uh, first, big thank you. 320 subs. Boom! And I attribute most of this to Serrano and a few other reviewers who have shared my site. But TubeBuddy is working really good for me. So, we're going to pass on out of there. And I'll show you we're talking about right after this intro <laughs> hi folks thanks for watching the intro make sure you watch the entire video I will leave links to the videos I've shown or talked about and the channel I talked about the whole point of this is why is no one talking about the pixel 4 finally found someone with some common sense who does his research this is a fantastic reviewer I might have to subscribe to his channel I haven't yet but I did like it if you, you know, go over here you know, see yeah he's right there and so, what do we got? We have him talking about the Samsung Note 10 was annihilated by the Pixel 4 before both are even released. So this is about a week ago, I guess, he released this. Ah, but he makes some excellent points in here. What he talks about is... The fact that Google has placed a bezel up top and they've added two infrared sensors. Therefore, you get no notch. We don't have to deal with a freaking camera that pops up and still insecure. We don't have to deal with any of that. Because the only secure face unlock right now is Apple. And personally would you buy a television or a monitor with a, a quarter of your tube or your left side or right depending on i guess if you watch your tv upside down on your head uh sticking down into the display no sheer stupidity all in the name of bezels this guy don't care about bezels he even mentions it uh, he also pointed out the sheer silliness of this little gimmick, as he calls it. It's reminding here. You may know this, but smartphone sales have not only plateaued in sales over the past few years, but they're even beginning to decline. Eh. So, he talks about smartphone sales declining. And he also talks about why a certain gimmick or two is ruining our phones. And he's right. It adds to the cost. You don't need, okay, if you got proper, real, secure base unlock, Apple went in the right direction. There's works. It works all the time. It works great. Pixels go in the same direction. Might even work better. We hope the first iteration works better. We'll see. I will link both of these videos because in this video he's going to show you. Uh, well, he's going to show you in both about the insecure face unlock that you have on every other phone besides an Apple right now. I don't care how great you think your little pop-up camera is and I don't care 
if you like your somewhat semi-secure fingerprint reader on the in screen. I mean, I found it to be way simpler to have one on the back because I usually leave my phone's face down. When I pick them up, my finger just reaches up and hits. You know, I, I still think there should be a mechanical type physical fingerprint reader. This in-screen horseshit is just that. It's a gimmick. And it adds to the cost. And by the way, there is a way, if you watch both his videos, I don't remember which one it's in. I've been working on this all day. But one of them, he, you know, he shows you how crap the face unlock is on all the other phones that have pop-up cameras, notches, whatever. He points at his picture on the laptop with the picture increased in size even. And guess what? Yeah, you guessed it. The uh, phone unlocked. Well, that's not so good now, so why do we even have the damn notch? Put the gosh darn bezel back on the top. Quit listening to reviewers tell you, oh, you can't have bezels, they're bad. Who in the hell decided this? Oh. Reviewers, high-end reviewers, guys with a lot of money to spend. So why is no one talking about this phone? Okay, well, it's because we're in the cycle, folks. And if you don't know what the cycle is, I'm going to just teach you about it. I can give you a few names. Mr. Who's the Boss, Matthew Moniz. And uh, those two for sure. Probably uh, Dave 2D. They'll all do. Oh, and ASBYT. Oh, before two days are up, maybe even today, they'll have camera comparison. Samsung Note 10 versus, yeah, whatever. First, I'll compare it to the uh, Samsung S10. And then, when that doesn't go well enough, they'll turn around and compare it to uh, something that... This one only costs $500. Look, the camera's nowhere near as good. No shit. We already know that, but most people don't use their phones like these tech reviewers do. I know, they're trying to push them to the limits, and that's great. They've shown you the limit. Wondrous. But, in truth, you're taking pictures of your grandbabies or your kids or whatever. Do you really need a camera that can take a picture of the Eiffel Tower in Paris while standing at the top of the Statue of Liberty in New York, which is actually facing the wrong? Well, it's facing the right way. But, no, you don't. And you ain't making movies. You ain't John Ford. You ain't Francis Ford Coppola. And you certainly aren't Stanley Kubrick. You're making, at best, some videos. 13 megapixel camera will do it for you. A screenshot will do it for you. Ah, next in the cycle, charging time. Ooh, we have to know how quickly it charges. Of course, they'll, most of them will probably gloss over the fact that the Note 10 is capable of like 40 or 45 watt charging, but yet Samsung in a classic Apple move gives you a 25 watt charger. Oh, you can pay more for the extra one. They took away the headphone jack. Well, you can get some of them Samsung earbuds. Mm hmm I'm not sure if they provide the dongle or not. They might have gone totally Apple on us. And, well, for $20, you can get a dongle. Are you high? It ought to be in the box. Don't be Apple, Samsung. 
too late, of course. Uh, and then last but not least, we're going to see the speed test. Some idiot sitting there pressing two buttons and loading crap. Okay, let's go over this again. These things work at billions of cycles a second. You can think your two fingers hit at the same time. In your brain they did. They look like they did. If you're one millisecond difference, do the math between, say, two gigahertz, it's two billion cycles, and one thousand cycles different, or, you know, between, or one millisecond. Ah, uh, yeah, one of them got a head start. And, well, this one does that, and this one, yeah, it all depends on the RAM they put in it. Is your life that overloaded with your stupid ass smartphone? But you care about, I can just go back to this app. I have 47 apps open. The hell is wrong with you? Do you live on it? Because if you're at work and your work doesn't involve using your cell phone, your boss ought to seriously consider firing your ass. Get a life. So, once that cycle is over, all of a sudden they'll all be, oh, and then they're either going to tell us, we don't like the looks of that top picks, you know, bezel. To which I say, wow, don't listen to these guys. It's horseshit. They're, they have the little ring through the nose with the chain going back to the manufacturer who says, you know, you want to keep getting phones from us, you're going to bash them. Ours are bezel-less and immersive. Immersive. That's the stupidest word to apply to watching any kind of screen that I've ever heard. I don't care how thin the bezels are on your laptop. You still have the background, your wall. Doesn't that detract? Okay, if it doesn't, neither did the GD bezels. Okay, get over it. That's all I got for today. I'm going to cut this down, make it short and sweet, post it up, and remember, read the description below for the links to uh, Brandon M. Brandon Lee's channel. Watch both the videos that I'll link in the description below. And if you found this helpful, entertaining, or informative, consider hitting the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, leave some feedback, and click the little bell. That way you'll be notified. Nobody's going to make you watch them videos, but at least you'll know we put something new out. You can read the title and go, oh, oh, he's, he got a Team Pixel phone. Yes, hello Google, by the way, I could use a phone to test. I only have three right now, and I'm done testing them. So, just send me a Pixel 4. I'll be happy to test it. And you'll get an honest review, and I promise I won't mention the bezel. Swear to God. Well, I will, only in a good way. Oh. That's all I have for tonight. Catch you in the next video.